Good evening, everyone. It's, um, it's next step. It's time to cut some babies off the Jamaican, off the Congo, off the Barbara, off the Afghan, off the Medi, of course, off the new, uh, Haley's Common Cross that we have down here with the NL number five skunk haze. I think it might be called the Haley's Lights or something. We haven't really kind of named it yet, but it might be named, uh, 12879. No, I'm kidding. Um, anyways, what we're talking about here today, guys, is I'm getting ready to get into the turbo cloner again. So I've got everything sitting here right now. As we already seen, we know how it all works. We've seen this lots. But I've been advised, guys, that um, maybe I should start using something a little bit better. Because the last ones, even though they all rooted, it was really well. It took a little bit longer than what I'm used to. So um, I picked up this. It's uh, from General Hydroponics called uh, Rapid Start. Um, we have another, there's a few other ones out there, right, I'm not getting into that, but, uh, wow, hey guys, sounds like everything's just turning on right now, I think we need to go and, uh, take a look, don't we, getting to be that time, everything's flipping now, so, uh, today's gonna be the day that we actually get in here and, uh, take some clones off a few of these, and we got this little manual setting here so we can change the the balance of the room so we can actually see so the lights are coming on and you can definitely see that everything's very very healthy this is the Haley's right in front of us she's always a little less saggy in the morning but look at the midi cushions guys yeah last time I just flipped to show you this time I pruned and got everything ready so I get lots of nice top colas so uh, the midi is looking very very well Coming down here, we got our number two phenol and our number four. So there you guys go. Here's the Medi Haze and the Jamaican walking in with the Congolese. We're going to take some bottom cuts off of that. We're going to take some bottom cuts off of the Jamaican. We're going to take some, we don't need the Medi Haze. We're going to take some bottom cuts off that Afghan right there in the corner. And we're going to take a look at our little test grow over here in the corner. So uh, we're definitely going to have to go take a look at the how the LEDs are going, they're going to be turning on any second of themselves, so they all turn on the same color. They do have some yellowing in there that Horatio was talking about. I just gave it some nutrients, um, you can see the purple is coming on the back there, but um, yeah. That's just a little bit of a light coming on. Look at this Haley, she's just doing beautiful. A little bit of a light coming on. So as we come in here, guys, here's our humidity. Here's our temperature. As you can see, temperature inside is 72. It's normally set at 78, so that's a six degree fluctuation. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Now we're gonna go over and take a look at our CO2 levels and when the lights came on. And this is perfect. That means the plants are doing very well right now. And as it stands, it looks like that um, I might be out of CO2, guys. My ball isn't up, my gauge is down, and this is definitely asking for it. So we're going to unplug that to make sure that we don't damage the solenoid in there as it's trying to keep firing it on. We'll definitely get some new gas for that, and uh, we'll hook that up. So, uh, not a big deal. Plants live very well at 500, 600 parts per million. I like to bring it up to about 1,100 parts, but uh, most growers do uh, when they run a sealed room. So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna get the rapid start going on here, guys. Just gonna read the directions on here. I'm gonna get this going. We can all take a look. This way I can see, because I'm getting a little bit blind here, so this is a better way of me being able to read the label. <laughs> I'm just looking for the directions. So there we go, guys, rapid start. One tablespoon per five gallons of water, quarter mil, two mils per five gallons for aggressive use, so. Basically, I'm going to be using roughly, I'm going to say a quarter mil per liter. So I'm going to be using, uh, well, my jug down there is four liters, quarter mil per liter. That means I'm using two liters. I mean, two mils. Two mils of rapid start into our little container here. So um, I'm going to get you set up on a tripod. We're going to get things going here. We're going to do some cuttings of a few of these strains. And hey, maybe even Mike will come over because I got a little present for Mike. Those are Mike's right there. Yeah, he's got a few different strains there. I got him four different new phenos. He just finished uh, cutting his down. Uh, 
He's really excited. He said it was the best he's ever done, and I'll have to say that Mike is very excited. He did a video this morning of his own, and he said he's going to start uploading it to his channel. So there's uh, there's five new ladies for Mike. Some strains that will work very well for him because he doesn't really like the high sativas. He doesn't like the, the big punch in the face, or we're hoping that this one here will give him exactly what he needs. So that's awesome. So let's um, get things going. You know what? I think actually we better go take a look at this LED light, right? I mean, it's uh, has been four days, and everything around here seems to be moving very well in the four-day period. So, in with the LED light, guys. I actually go back to the manual setting here now. So there we go. There's the LED doing strong. And you can see we got our about a foot and a half above the above the light. And uh, there you guys go. Yeah, as you know, first coming in is the Congolese. Behind it is the Medi Haze, and it looks beautiful. Over there is the Medi Kush. We got the Barber Bud right here. We got an HC. We also got a couple of My Little Ponies. One of them is definitely going to stay in here. The other one's going to go into the other room. So that will probably be the MLP right there. That's going to go to the other room. And we'll keep one of each of these, one in here, and the other one will go in there. So two MLPs are going to go to the other room. But uh, we'll definitely take a couple cuts from this room too. Maybe we'll just see how well they root from the other two rooms now. Because they've been in uh, basically in two separate lights now for the last 14 days. Oh yeah, it's um, it's time to actually keep flipping this right now. So now this will come on. And then uh, we'll be under 12-12 here within the next two days. So uh, that's what's happened. I'll be slipping this slowly and uh, it's been a nine day process. It's just the way I do things, guys. An hour a day keeps the bugs in the piano. Um, the rooms have been very well sprayed. They've been um, looked for bugs. They've been sprayed for bugs. Uh, we've had preventative. We've burned sulfur. We've actually even sprayed for powdery mildew. So everything, this whole this whole place has burned sulfur in here for the last two weeks. So, And at the same time, um, in the very beginning, guys, uh, we made sure that we gave a little spray of this. Everybody got a little bit of spray of, of uh, the Natra. So this was a product that was brought in, of course, by Dan down at uh, P&W. little shout out to Dan. Uh, great boss, great guy to work with. Having a lot of fun with them. So you get a chance, come on down to P&W Mission. I'm there Monday and Friday, so there you guys go. Anyways, I just wanted to show you the lights coming on, and uh, we're going to get to work here, guys. We're going to get this uh, turbo cloner going. Well, I'm getting the turbo cloner all ready to go here, and since the last time I used these, I never cleaned them, guys. So I'm thinking that would be a very smart thing to do, right? I mean, you'd figure you'd want to um, make sure that everything's nice and clean. So what I've actually done is I've got the hydrogen peroxide. Um, it's good for cleaning things. And it's in my room because I've used it for other things. And I'm just gonna add like a mill here, not too much, just a little bit to sterilize it just to make sure. Drop that into the water. So when it comes down to always doing a cloning and a cutting, I always talk about sterilizing and make sure everything's nice and clean. So I'm actually just giving each one of these a rinse right now, guys. So I figured as I was doing this, I should say, hey, you know what? Maybe I should just explain why. So I always want to make sure I've already turned the turbo cloner on. I've cleaned it out. I've added uh, four, eight, basically 12 liters of water into the turbo cloner. And with that came six mils of rapid start. So um, looking forward to see how that's going to work out. I figure it's going to be about eight to 10 days for these to root. Quick rinse, making sure they're under sanitized. Or if you want to just throw them all in, because one at a time I can open them up and make sure that they're all cleaned out. Because don't forget, we actually stick the stem right inside of there, right? So, yeah. We'll get these going here. And at the same time, I'm going to label what we're going to put in here. And I think I'm going to take about well, five Jamaicans. One, two, three, four, five, six Jamaicans. I'm going to take Six of everything. 
That's what I want to do. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm pretty sure I got about eight strings in there. If not, well then I guess a few are going to get a little extra. Um, extra. So, just like I just did right now, the same plants I got going, I always have the same amount. This just makes my life convenient. And uh, as you can see, I'm just looking down here at all these new strings I was just talking about. And I'm going to have to take some cuts off of that, but I haven't quite determined exactly which one I'm going to keep as my main. Mike is actually the first one of this flower goes out for us, and uh, he did just presumably cut them down. I took a look at them this morning, I'm going to have to say, you know what, they look pretty sweet. They smell really amazing. Almost like um, like a pine berry fruit kind of thing. It's weird, so it's, like, it's, it's like a pine. But it's like a berry fruity kind of flavor. It's really, really unique. Um, yeah. It's always kind of cool when you come up with something yourself. You know what? You guys should try the same thing. It, you know, it's always fun to play and stuff like that. This is kind of hobby in mind. It's what I enjoy doing. Um, someone made a comment there that uh, said I'm at work today. And then like, how can you call that work when you enjoy what you're doing so much? And I thought about it. I said, well, you know what? I guess I'm happy doing what I'm doing, but I'm still putting a lot of effort into it and, and making sure I'm doing the right um, doing the right thing and learning the right processes and so I'm able to obtain what I'm going to need in order to uh, help me with my pain control and my condition and stuff. So I'm always uh, trying to do that. Yoga? I've got to share that quite a bit lately. Why? Because it works. I always talk about things that work so well. Any cush works for me. Uh, yeah, watermelon works for me. Pizza works for me. Pizza works for me. What else works for me? You guys work great as a not work for me, but you make me happy. You, 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 get, you get me into my uh, why I'm able to uh, enjoy the quality of life, even though I suffered such with all my injuries, which. If you don't know, let's go back to some of my videos, or probably the first one that's on, I think, gives you a little explanation of uh, what happened to me. And uh, what turned me into uh, the word for it. I learned how to get off of pharmaceutical drugs using amino acids, natural supplements, and converter forms of THC. And like a few people in the industry know me very well and say it's just I want to tell the world what helps me so much. Isn't that like a no-brainer? Let's put right here. This is what helps me so much, right here. And I'm trying to think what my dry stuff is. Oh. why we do this so much. Don't forget, tether, you're a lighter. Yeah, this is the best thing about this guy. It's the lighter that keeps on lighting. It's probably the only lighter that I've had for over a year and it's always worked. So, that's what we're doing, we're medicating it. You know, that hurts my back a little bit. Just fresh headies, you know, it's um, the message behind what we're trying to get to. <coughs> well guys, so pretty much, make sure that it's all nice and dry, and I think I'm going to, I'm going to jar or something so I can put some colons in our I can, I can pretty much just go and cut them, dip them directly into this water right here and put them directly into that turbo coil. That's what's so great. So, hey, let's um, let's go on over and take a look what we're going to do here. First, we're going to move you on in. And uh, what better way is I should grab... Uh, 
these nice little new scissors, guys. See these? This is sweet. So these are these new sippets. I got them given to me. And uh, I'm about ready. So check them out. Here we go. In we go. And we're first going right at the Jamaican there, guys. I think that's the first, the first step of everything is getting towards that Jamaican. So. Pretty much. Put up my new little scissors here. Best way to do it, brand brand in, right out of the package. Perfect. Really nice and uh, thing there. I'm, I'm actually gonna give it a little bit of a wipe. I feel like there's a little bit of oil on there, and that oil, I really don't want to get all over my stalks and stuff like that. So, right down here too. And the way I look at this, guys. Wow, I got some awesome cups in here. I'm gonna cut that one off. I got one. Got a leaf down here I can prune off. Now these leaves I can prune off there and there. I'm definitely going for a two. Wow, it's like leather. Three. Four. Six nice bottom cuts of the Jamaican, guys. There you guys go. Keep that going. I'll take him over to the turbo cloner now. That was kind of nice. Walk him on over here. Of course, um, got to have the Method 7s on, guys. Got to protect your eyes from inside of the room. It's important. But since I'm not in the room anymore, I can actually take those off. So pretty much I'm just getting right in here, right away. It's going to be our main one here. We took that bottom nice branch off. Just going to cut just right. You see on 45? Just like that. I'm going to stick this directly into my turbo cloner. Just like this, so it's coming out the bottom. I'm gonna plug the turbo cloner in, so this way we get water on it right away. I'm gonna back the camera up a little bit there. There you guys can get a better look. And I can pretty much do this. You know there's water in there. I had to show you guys quickly. So these are the ones that I just peeled off and I always talk about just the top root in there. And as you can see inside of there, you can see that root coming out of there. So all I'm going to do here, guys, is just really, is just cut that off there. Cut that off there like that. I'm going to grab my little uh, piece here. All nice and clean and sterilized, of course. And then it goes. So I'm leaving it with uh, two of them. Once again, that's just the peel where I peel the top root off. I learned this from a friend, Mikey. Thanks, Mikey. And you know what? It always roots. Always my best ones. I always say that the bottom of the plant is the best genetics where you get your best rooting. So, hey, we want to keep this Jamaican going. So, uh, we're definitely getting nothing but the best. <clears throat> So once again, cutting on a 45, 
Now, there you guys go. I'll just give you a nice close look there of what I've done. Hopefully that's going to zoom in. So you can kind of see. There you guys go. You can see I cut it right on the 45. Right at the, the uh, uh, basically where the... Can't say the word right now. You guys will tell me in the comments. Thank you. So right off the hop, we're taking a good look. We know we have the Jamaican off the first. The very first of Jamaican. Coming up next, I think it's going to be the Congolese. I think that's the next one, guys. So, 45. Into the turbo car, just like that. You see the bottom coming through. Quite nice. Oh yeah. Last but not least. Now, as an old school cloner, that's a clone right there. Easy. I can cut that right there. I cut this off right here. That's a clone right there. It's amazing how much you can get off of a little bit. And you know we're gonna we're gonna put this one right here on the end, guys. We're gonna take a little 45 on it. Just like that, as you know. It's gonna be the very first one on this far corner here. We're just gonna have a I don't know, hopefully we can get it to stick through. Woo! We'll see what happens with that little uh, mini test one. Right here on the end. It's gonna get great roots, guaranteed. So, last but not least is this last one. And I'm just gonna cut the leaf off a little bit. I mean, I don't have to. It's it's very healthy, as you can see. But just so we can fit in my turbo corner properly, I just want to kind of trim it a little bit. And give it that 45, just like that. And also, you know, you can also do this. I like to scrape it sometimes. Just give it a little scrape on each side. So you know what? There's another test, one on the back in the corner. I give it a little scrape. Everybody's got different ways of doing things. I know guys put these in the 24 hour light right away. So you get all your little differences and stuff like that. But I mean, I think what's next is um, you guys want to come and cut some Congo with me? I think I'm going to take it, I will three off the one in there and three off the LED. How about that? So the furthest far away from us, the three from the farthest away from us, is going to come from inside the HPS room. So um, let's go do that. The Congo, guys. There you go. Sitting down there in the corner just like that. And I think some people might even say, hey, you're cutting me not putting it in the water right away. So, as I get down here and take a look at this Congo, right away I can feel that she needs some water, but I'm also seeing instantly that it's hungry and needs food. Little tips. I'm going to zoom in on this for you guys to show you. But um, first I'm going uh, get right in here. Thing is, I'm having a moment with the bone. That one just peeled right from the bottom there. It's the peel into the water. Give it a turn. The other one is right off the stock here. Boom. Just like that. Number two. We're taking three from here, guys. And I think the third one is going to be this nice cut one right here. Cut it right here. Be able to uh, get that going. One, two, three. Three Congos. Do a little crewing in this one here too. You can see what it's looking like. Now this isn't a Congo and I'm flipping either, but uh, I'm definitely gonna go take some off the the other one inside. Clean this up a little bit for you guys. Take a good look. It's kind of thick in here. I might even take another. Well, I think it's good fruiting for the plant right now. This is how thick and dense it is in here. I like to clean it up a little bit. And I'll just get this extra cloth. I might use this one instead. See how I feel. To be like a double cloth. 
but that's what I'm going to take the turbo corner anyway, so I'm just going to cut that off. Done. A little quick pruning here, guys, while I'm taking some cones. I hope you don't mind. Yeah. Just kind of want to show you what I do. I want to show you exactly, but as you can see, this is very light. And, and what I was going to show you is if you look at the tips right here and how they're turning a little yellow, it's telling me it's hungry. And that's what I'm doing. And I've got to put this down before I start spraying. Just want to show you guys. Sorry about that. So, I'm quite happy. I've got those cups and now I'm going to go put those in the terminal corner and uh, then we will grab some off the ones with the LED one. So we got the Congo coming up next, right beside the Jamaican, and uh, that's a beautiful one, this big one here guys. I didn't realize I had, me, I had to get down here for you. I'm going to kind of lean you up a little bit and then we don't have to be totally leaning down, but I'm going to stick this one right here, third from the back. Like that, dipped it in water, and she goes. Next, coming up is this beautiful one right here. That's a nice Congo, as you can see. And you know what? Because we're switching rooms all the time, what I have to do, guys, is go back to the normal. So we'll just do that for you. Showing the normal screen. So this is the next Congo I was going to show you. So that's the next Congo. We got the water dipping, came from water. I cut this right here like that out of 45. It's below there. Gonna stick your second from the end. And we got the Congo. And here's this one that I just peeled. That one's going in the end. Just like that. There you guys go. So, I think what's coming up next, guys, is, is bringing that. Well, we can. I can go in and get. Let's go take a look. You know, I got this uh, whole new love of carrying you guys around and showing you everything. So right away, because of the noise, I'm just going to unplug the fan right here. That's the Congolese right down there. That's the Congo. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get three off of that. We'll see what happens here, guys. We'll really see what happens. So in the meantime, I'm going to make sure we're not too crooked. I'm going to... Uh, show you what's going on down there that's the Congo right here that's what we're going to take a few cuttings from and this is going to be cutting from the LED just from the Congo I won't do it for the other ones I might take a few from the Barbara but you know what as you can see this Congolese down here can be cleaned out so it takes it's no harm in getting down here grabbing a few nice cuts Especially just right from the center like this. Beautiful. Really, really happy with a couple of these right now. I can already tell. That's just right out of the center. Nice big tall one. Put my little cup of water again. We'll turn it around here. We got another one right here. This is once again just a nice peel from the bottom. Just like that. I'm really liking these little snippets. I'm looking for just that one special. I think this is it right here. I think that's that special one. Right there. Kind of got to stay underneath the light, but it's very light under here. So I hope you guys can see what's going on with this LED. So we got three from the LED 
combo going on right there. There's an MLP. That's the bar, bro. We're definitely going to have to take some from the bar, but, but look at how well these plants are doing, guys. Aren't they just beautiful? Look at that. I kind of want to clean up the center here. I know it's just going to be a bit of a pain. So, that's just what I like to do, guys. Clean this out a little bit while I'm here. You guys in on the other ones. Oh wow, does that ever smell nice? For a plant, does that, does that ever smell beautiful? Yeah, wow. Definitely gonna have to give this some water and then we'll be giving her another feed. So we're going to feed water, feed water. So uh, I guess we're taking these ones to the turbo corner. So those first three are the Congo, the next three are going to be in the front and second one's over are going to be the Congolese that came from the LED. So we got three coming from the HPS, three coming from the LED. Hey, we're all full of testing, aren't we? Just kind of want to get that in there. Always having fun. Once again, right from the tap root, right in. And this is a smaller one, so we'll put it down on the other side here, because we've got that real small one in there, if I remember. Pull it down, move it over so it's right in the center, so it'll be easy to pull out when I need it. Down she goes. There's that big tall one I was just talking about. Kind of matches the other one. Can we go tall one against tall one? LED against HPS. So it's definitely bigger like this way. It's kind of funny. And last but not least was that perfect one that I was talking about. So I like that one there, just perfect. 45. Little scrape. I like the scrape. That's what I like to do. Look at the water just coming out of there, just pouring out of there. You know these are definitely getting water solid. Now, Horatio was talking about guys that maybe I should get a a little minute timer and I should have it go off and on every 10 minutes or every 5 minutes and we shouldn't be solely soaking it so he's actually going to make something like that for himself It'll be interested to see how that all comes about so this is a tall condo right here I bump that in there this is a mini Congo we take the mini Congo and pop, put it right beside the mini Jamaican. How about that? One and one. And if we're testing, we got to do it right, don't we? There you go. Hope you guys catch that up. Okay, so you know what? As we're going along here, um, we know this is the Jamaican. This is the Congolese. Next coming up is the Barbara. I think we're going to do the Barbara bun. And then I'm going to do the Afghan. And then I'm going to do one, two mini cushions. And then I'm gonna to need to do some Haley's, of course. And then I'm gonna do two Haley's. Two Haley's, two Medis, one Barbara, one Afghan. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. You don't need to see me do it anymore. I think it was really important to take a look at the Jamaican, take a look at the Congolese and how that is all going. We definitely might even take a few extra Jamaicans up here. I might actually fill that out. So I might go Jamaican, Jamaican, Medi Haze, Medi Haze. You'll be a surprise. So I'm going to keep cutting here and uh, we'll see how the day, uh, night progresses. Okay guys, I came in here and I started plucking away on some leaves down there as you can see. But then I kind of wanted to show you the Barbara close up. I want to show you the difference between the HPS and the LED. The difference in size, now this is in the test one. The test one actually happens to be just over there. You can see that's the Haley's with all the sticks, and beside that one is going to be the Barbara. Right down there, you can see the yellowing in the leaves up there and going all the way down. And if we look down on the bottom down there, you can definitely see that it's marked Barbara Bud. So we're going to take a couple clones from 
two and two, two from each one. Then we'll take two from the LED light and those will be my end two. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that. Wanted to show you what I was doing here. I'm going to take a really good look at this plant again. We're going to take some cuts from it. Figured I would uh, bring a stool instead. My life a little bit easier. So, what I'm talking about here, guys, and if you can see, we have lots of purpling and, 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 and the leaf. Just, you know what, even like Marisha said, it's, just, it's pretty stressed coming in here. And I always notice that, I always see that. And, but it's always under stress and I mean it's just what happens when you grow with uh, artificial light and not natural sunlight. So right off the hop here guys, I'm trying to get my best clothes from the barber bud. I always like to take bottom branches and I'm going to cut one off like that. And kind of do a little bit of a trim up there. Get that going. That's a, the first barber bud one. I've got my little water right here, so I'll take two off of this plant. And uh, I'm definitely uh, getting right in here and I'm going to chop that one there because that's actually a lot better looking one. So I'll give uh, you know, two off of this plant, two off of that plant, like I was just saying. We'll trim up there. That was a nice peel. You can see the top loop right there, so that's nice. We'll get two there, but in the meantime, yeah, I gotta clean this out a little bit here. All this uh, transition needs to go on. I just wanted to show you. You know what? You gotta clean this out. It's getting a little, a little thick, and it's getting right. It's going into flower as we speak. We said I've been taking an hour off every day for the last. Uh, well, we're, we got uh, three hours left until it's 12, 12, so we're at 15 hours right now. You guys can do the math. Let's get this part with a nice little trim. Get in there up. Make it look all pretty. Now these bottom branches have some bugs. I'm just getting rid of them. That can make a nice bowl. Throw that in there if I need to do it or not. Definitely leathery, you know, really, really nice hard plant. Well, that's about the extent of uh, what I'm doing in here, guys. Get a few things cleaned up. Get it going. We also have the afghan right here. Another kind of plant we're going to take some definite cuts off of, but definitely have to get in here right away and clean her up. As you can see, the stool works very well. Four gallon pots works very well. One fit per uh, gallon. Nice little topping that we showed you there, the, the peeling. Uh, these are all nicely filling out very well. We have some little pruning in here to give us some extra love, get the sun down in the bottom so we get nice, nice buds all the way through and not just at the top, right? We need a light penetration. So you always want to clean everything out. Make sure we get light right down into the bottom down here. It's really important when you're actually growing any kind of plant, really. You need to get light, but if you're looking to get flowers, if you're looking to get Fruit, this is my fruit, your vegetables, you're looking to get yields, you need to make sure you get light penetration. And at the same time, I'm able to exactly choose exactly what clone I'm going to want from this lovely lady here. And this one here takes a full six off of this plant. We've got logs down on the bottom here. I've been told this you'll be able to clean up this bottom. That's why I'm working so hard on the top right now. I'm going to clean up this bottom 
this whole bottom down here is going to become my clone right down here. It's beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. I got all six right there. Just perfect. So just getting ready for the next go, you know. It clones take about uh, anywhere from uh, 10 to uh, 12 days, and then we root them, and we get into about uh, a month, and then we put them into another pot, and next thing you know, they're almost ready. If we get a new LED light, so I can do my vetting on the LED instead of my uh, T5, then I'll always be using it. It works, but I can tell you that LED light works a lot better. Wow, the, just the, the internal spacing in here and how all the cones are coming up and how you can already just see how great this plant's going to be. I've got a really cool little, a lot of the leaves that have a little purple on the leaf, that's what I like to peel off too right away. So, definitely making her look a lot cleaner, getting more light down into her. And I said I wasn't even going to show you guys this. Oh, I'll just cut the clothes and I'll show you in a bit. And I'm like, well, if I can keep showing you what I'm doing and then you won't understand exactly how I'm able to get what I get, that full melt epicness that you guys get to see. You have me on Instagram, um, 420 Weed Master, on Instagram, Facebook, just John H. Perfella, join, tag along. Of course, I also have a Twitter account, which is uh, John B. But all those things, and you can also go to Medtator Canada, of course. Everybody knows that. If not, you know that too. So it gives you an idea, guys. I'm pretty sure you can see how much I've thinned this out now. How much I've cleaned out this plant, made it look a lot more uh, sun in there, and she can grow a lot better. So I'm wasting all of my nutrients, all these leaves, and ain't doing me any good. There we go. That afghan is just ready for us to come and take some home from here after we get uh, right there for now. We can just pick her up. That's how it all started with those leaves right there, didn't it? Well, you know what? It's going to make life really, really easy for everybody. Here's the barber that's under the LED. And I'm definitely going to have to clean her up. Because as you can see guys, it, it's, it's a lot more bushier, a lot more growth in here than the LED one I would say. But the LED is a lot healthier. So that's always the, the first time I always say that the LEDs, they, they grow great vegetable. Um, plants, they always look just so healthy and so beautiful. But we always have a problem with the yield, so of course we're testing. But right now I'm cleaning this one up. Just kind of caught my eyes and I was like, where's my method seven? But yeah. I've been doing this for a long time. Sometimes it's going to be able to get in here and see some things. So definitely um, really full in here compared to the other Barbara. Actually, they're both really, really dense. That's why I had to clean them up. There was a lot of foliage in there. A lot of, a lot of leaves. But, uh, that's just a great color right there. That's uh, beautiful. I like the way you have that one just sits like that. And you need to come out of the center anyways. Nice little top break. It's one of those money like, okay, that one I have to take because that's gonna be the that's gonna be the next mom of the barber. And I was giving these plants up to a few friends. Actually well not me, I don't mark out about that. You know, 
you would say heard about it. Can't really remember. You people lost about it, and I was just saying the resin is amazing with the barbara. That's what it comes down to. Sticky, dank, killer, nice, medicinal. Uh, winning cups. Matt's kind of nailing it. House of the Great Gardener, of course, guys. If you don't know, that's where the strain comes from. And a few different genetics from, from Matt. That's about the Afghan. So we got two different strains from Matt. We got the Afghan, we got the Barbara. Both full milk quality, both really nice. Both the same as in down regulating, very, uh, ah, you know, it's nice, it's something different. For me, my medicine is many Kush. That's what works for me, that's what, uh, what I have. Yes, 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 he's coming soon. Well, it might be Mike. I said he's going to have some dinner and maybe head on over, and I said, ah, it's cool. I said, well, when you get a chance, come on over. I'm going to be uh, getting your plants ready. I might even walk over and see Mike and see what he's got hanging. Hanging. I think we need to do a Mike update. That's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to walk on over to Mike. Take a few extra leaves in this condo here. I'll show you bar for bud. We've got that real nice bar for bud one here, right here on the end. I already know which one it is. I'm looking for one more that I'm going to really like. And I think it's this one right here. There it is. Just found it. Because I was like, that, that can't be that. So, there's my next one. Oh, that's a beautiful one, too. Not again, nice copy. So, and I would say that um, the two clones that I caught from this particular one under this HPS light over here, but a lot healthier than the two that took off of this plant that are over here in this corner. So it just goes to show that even different parts of the room, you're going to get different growth. So I mean, it's it's a test in, in my way, but it's definitely not research or science. This is just um, one uh, homegrown grower to another homegrown grower. Now I'm seeing I got these little scissors in my hands, and boy, they're actually really good. Really, really. Wow, that makes life a bit easier. Well, I think I've pretty much got this one all nicely turned up and how I'm going to like it. How it's going to kind of finish off here. We'll be watching her. Might have to do some trim on the... I'm going to take two barber buds off the LED light too so we can get a really good look there. And there we go. So that's the other barber, and that's the one underneath the other HPS light over here. Sorry guys, I'm plucking leaves over on this Congo here. Not much, just a few. But since we are just in the other room taking cuts from the Congo, I figured I'll we'll have to do a zoom on what I'm done here, but uh, I definitely have to uh, Take some yellow. So, there you guys go. That came from that bongo, the one over there. So, I guess we're going to get over there, put these into the turbo cloner. We're going to keep going. we got the barber bud for the next ones around. So, we got, so far, we got the Jamaican, we got the Congolese, and now we got the barber. Then we're going to come up with the Afghan and get into some eddies. Okay, we got the barber ones. Now these were the first two that I like so much off of the last plant. Remember I mentioned that. So I'm gonna put these in right at the very front. You already know that those are the ones that we're always liking. Remember these ones in the front here from the LED light. So we got one, 
two tap rig right in there, just directly right into the turbo corner. This is so much more easier, guys. I mean, really. Now, some people may mention how hard it is to put these into soil and the, we go to rootless system, and I'll agree they were a little bit difficult. I think, oh, my system is right here. Perfect. So, cut this on a 45, just like that. Trim on the leaf. Mike! Hello. How are you? Hi, I was here. Come on in. How are you doing? I know, I got a camera in the way and everything. Look at this. I got your making going on right here. Say hi, everybody. Hey, everyone, how's it going? I need to know if you're in the camera. I got to take I, a look. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Here's Mike. There you go. Hi, God. Hot dog. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, how's how it going? That's it. How's it going? How's it how going? How's it going? Nice. How's your day, Mike? Uh, not too bad. Yeah? Not too bad. I'm enjoying it. I'm just cutting the barber bud right now. That really resin one. These are going to be the next ones for. Oh, hey. You know what? Check this out. One, two, three. This is the one I uh, did, do the tap root pull from. I think you can always see it works very well for me. I was showing the viewers and stuff and how. These plants are needing a little bit of food. Great time to be cutting clones is when they need food. So, um, yeah, some people uh, don't want to have a lot of food in the roots when you're cutting, in my opinion. Hopefully, it might make it a little different. Uh, but I, um, so. I say I got some weird going on here, but you know what? See, I'm, I'm going to, these are for Mike right here. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Check these out, Mike. As uh, you can look down there, that's the, those are yours. Grab them. Those are your next five right there, my friend. Okay. Wow. Very good. So we're going to have a split top belly, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, okay. kind of pruning those and, and then just getting them kind of ready and stuff like that and, and doing the best that we can just to make sure. What do you think, Mike? Looking good. You like those? Yeah. Look, Wait. We're going to actually be wide on top this time around. Yes. We're going to be. So, well that was the whole idea. Um, we wanted making them a little bit fatter for you, so I was pruning them, getting the bottoms out, and then we'll pinch them one more time. And I think those are pretty much ready to like yes. cut right away, just go right into flowers. So you got uh, the Haley's Comet, then you got the number two, and I want to take a look at those females that you just finished. I was excited. I think the yeah, viewers will be, they're hanging? I think we're gonna have to go and take a look, they're aren't hanging. we? They're hanging, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna finish doing a few of these clones here. Um, yeah. Hey, you know what? Look at this. Huh? It's even better. Mike showed up. I gotta take him off the blue balance. Everybody's gonna complain about the blue, about me and Mike being in the blue. Blue and, and the best part about it is that I'm just gonna hand you this camera because everybody says you're a great cameraman. So that's just <laughs> awesome. So what I'm doing is I'm going over to cut two Barbara and we're gonna we'll take a look at the Barbara that was in here that we just worked on in the other room. I mean, you've seen everything. You tell me what you think about what's going on in uh, this room here. What do you think of the plants and how well they're doing, eh? These are my little ponies here. But, um, this is the barber bud. And we just went and did a trim on the other ones on the other side. And nice. how well we can see that. We can definitely yeah. see how well difference it is between this plant and the other plant. I'm only going to take off a few little leaves where I just did a major big trim in the other ones. Look how wide those leaves are. I know. Put your fingers beside that, John. That is just amazing. It's great. But what I always say is I get in here and I pull off these purple leaves like this. And you can get right in there, just like that. Because we're getting ready, we're going into flowers, so I kind of want to make sure we get some good light penetration. I'm also going to grab some clones from the bottom down here. I'm going to go... Pretty much. Oh, I'm peel that one off. Having a rough time actually. I'm gonna cut it. Cut that one off. Cut that on the 45. Want to get two from this plant, and I'm gonna cut this lasso off down here. That one there too. Let's do that. Yeah. Get a couple. We got, uh, these are the ones that are in the LED light. These ones, cut them from the bottom, so. 
Why are you doing that? What would you say? Why are you doing that? Why are you cutting the leaf like that? Well, because it's going to go in the turbo cloner, and, and I was telling the other people the same thing. I was like, they just cut the leaves off just so it gives me a little... Uh, I know they're not looking that sick. They're kind of fine, but... It's just what I do. Doesn't that compromise a leaf? No. I don't know. But you can definitely see the difference in how healthy this plant is from the other side. So I just wanted to show the viewers and uh, take a really good look. And get in there. You can see that. Very good. There you go. Why don't you go put these in the turbo cloner? Okay. I don't want to the tap root, I'm throwing it right in. It's going right in. I just want to see that, but that's alright. And I think I'm going to have to get one barber bud for right there, so... Yeah, Mike, you see how those are going there? And take a look. I'm going to grab one more. I'll be back in two seconds. We have the little experiment little guys going on on the end here. So we're grabbing one of these real tiny ones like that? Sure. Here, I'll put it in the film here. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you're doing. Just filming you. Just filming what you're doing. That's all. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were don't, taking a picture. No, no, no. no. That's awesome. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. I was like, I, I thought you were taking a picture. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm filming. That's awesome. So I took the little cut like that, and uh, you guys are going to be paying attention to this. I know the water, eh? You like that? Well, your camera. You get the camera? <laughs> well, a camera for me. Yeah, that's awesome. So, to somehow see that is like that, Mike. See? Yeah. So instead of just lying on there, I just kind of get a little trim back. So you're saying for crowd control kind of thing? Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. Well. So what right now we have the Jamaican, the Congolese, the Barbara. I'm going to do an Afghan. I need to do a whole roll of Haley's. I need two rolls of Medi-Kush. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve at least. So, I don't know. We're just going to keep going here. I think we're going to have to go and take a look at your stuff. And um, I, I'm going to just, you know, keep doing this maybe a little bit tomorrow. My back's a little bit done. I'd rather walk over and see what you got going on. Excellent. Look at you. You got wet. I can look at this. This is what Mike was doing. He's trying to save the camera. Isn't that nice? Look at that. He got sprayed on by the turbo flana. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to get that spray. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, you want to head over? Yeah, let's, let's head over. So, um, yeah, we're going to move those over the next day or two, I think, yeah, Mike. Fine. Yeah, So, uh, you're going to get five. You got an HC. I'm going to go take a look at what you got going on there. And these are all of the cuts that we took from Mike in the beginning. And we know all the different numbers here. We got a number one, we got a number two, we got a number five, and we got a number six. So there we go. Mike's looking at what I sprayed on there. I sprayed all that oh, on there for spray. right there for PM just this to make here? sure. Yeah, so I was just making sure that everything was nicely sprayed and stuff like that. Heading on over to Mike's. I think we're gonna come over and see Mike. It's actually the next day. Um, hey Mike. Hey, how you doing? Good. <laughs> I guess you were trying to come over here and we never made it over until the next day, eh? No, that's okay. That's okay. Just took my shoes on here and we're done. Nice. <laughs> Don't have to film that. Oh, no, it's really cold out, eh? Yeah. I see you're doing that. I had to bring you a gift. Here you go. Gift. Ooh. Keep my snuggle. I thought you had hats. Oh, yeah. Thank okay, you very much. Okay, go over and see you there. <laughs> there you go. Get your hat for the winter? Yeah, uh, no, I've been, I've, been, I've been very busy today. I, uh, it's too hard to see anything right now, but I, uh, my dog's escaped. Your and dog's he, escaped? And he dug under the fence. And he bored my cement mixer. Yeah, what a bitch that thing was. That was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it's, awesome. Yeah, it's, it, I, I put it back. That's so. So, uh,. Yeah. Oh no, we want to see what's hanging over there. I, we don't care what's oh. in there right now. All right, all right. So this is this is what Mike's been working on so hard, guys. 
He wasn't expecting. We were trying to do this last night. We got headphones. Yeah. Right the car. Wow, look at that, eh? We got, uh, this is Hey, let me seven. take, yeah? This is uh, number six, Haley's Comet and uh, whatever that is there. Yeah. Haley, it was a Haley's Comet across the Northland. That's a My oh, Little oh, Pony. Okay. That's this the number pony. four. This is a pony. My Little Pony number one. Yeah, you know, interesting. Cool. That's okay. Don't let it fall off. Uh, this is a. Okay, we have to get in close. That's uh, that's the number four. That's you know, a, number four. The, yep. And this is a number. Number five. Five. And there's your number one. And there's the number one. Look at that number five. Look at how purple that is. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. That looks like some fire there, Mike. Check 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 out this. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, Mike, you killed it. I'm very happy. That's with the this. MLP. Yeah, I'm very happy. Thank you. So, like my little good. pony. Which yeah. one is this one here? This is uh, the number four. The this, number four. That was in the bucket. Nice. Yeah. So you can even see the difference in the resin, guys. There you go. I like that five. It looks purple. This is the first one they had, but I had a bit of PM on that one. So that's the one he took down. So here's the difference. Mike took down this one here, like two weeks before these other ones. And and really, I think we'd have to compare it to this one over here. There we go. So there's a difference. Two weeks, two weeks later, size and difference. You could definitely double in size, eh? Mm -hmm. At least. There you go. So basically, the same phenols there, but um, yeah. yeah. So nice little run there. You know what? He had a few plants going on there, but I mean, how are those green peppers doing? Oh, awesome. We're gonna have a look. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move over. We're gonna start around here. I'm gonna have to Mike had to build this little room. Mike was talking about expanding. He goes, I think I have to expand. I laughed out loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I have to expand. Yeah. So of course we're gonna have to change the, the balance in here. Go to manual, go to white balance. There we go. I've lowered the light. Nice. Look at those peppers. Yeah, they're awesome. So this was uh, March 10th last year. And the plant's still going, so we got the pepper coming on. But over here, check this out. This here, you can see here. Mike's got new growth. You see all the dark green here? He's getting flowers. And it all, it's all kind of paled out. Okay, a lot, lots of lost nutrients and stuff like that. In the season, I left it. Look at those hot peppers, eh? Yeah, it was starving for a while, so I fed it twice, and it's coming back. Oh, check out those little suckers you got going on, eh? Yeah. Looks like you got a Northern Line number five, Haley's Comet Cross number two, and of yeah. course, what you like so much, Haley's Comet. Ooh, that Haley's Comet for you, my friend. <laughs> Even brought a lighter for you. There Thank you go. Thank you very much. I know it's your favorite. I know it's the one you like the most. So Check this out down here. I figured. Sorry, well, my quarters. Oh no, you're yeah, the gardener. My, my quarters are dead space, so I'm gonna have um, uh, garlic chive here. Yeah. In the other corner, I'm gonna have green onion, and over here, I'm gonna have lettuce. It's dead space in the corner. Why not use it? <laughs> it's. Oh yes. I think I think I've turned Mike into a gardener. Oh yeah. There you go. Got some more. All uh, green onion or garlic too. So. That's I'll awesome. Here. He gets it off like you, you know what? You still make me smile. It's <laughs> unreal. Just, it is. It's just so cool because I remember when when I first even talked about gardening for you. Like I don't have time to do that. I don't have to. And and now it's changed your whole life. And it's Not just really. exciting. It really is. <laughs> it's good to see. You see the roots going right through there. So what those roots, when they're hitting light, light going to the roots, they don't like that. So you're painting that black might be a good idea. Oh, okay. Right? Thank so, you. Yep. So, so the roots don't like to see light and, and they'll go brown. So right. just a little bit of a... All right, and even you. with the, with the pots, we were talking about how the pots, black pots attract heat. So in reality, I mean, but it's what we have to work with, right? We don't have white pots. Not yet. Oh, wait, there's a white pot. Whoa! I think that's a bucket, though. That's a... That's a homemade bucket. An old honey bucket, whatever. That's a, that's, it's, it's an old made... I said we don't have white pots, but I know Mike... Still hold the bottom. What do you got on the other side there? Let's take a look. Turn it around. Organic oh, yeah. honey. Organic honey. There you go. Gourmet planted bee honey. Yeah. So, well, rather awesome. Very happy with it. So... Andy's condo. Nice. There you go, Mike. Right on. The best I could do is 22 degrees oh, here. Oh, oh, I can see that you've... Uh, this is Mike hitting yeah. his head. No, I've done I, it several times. I have never hit my head, but oh, you'll know. Oh, you'll, oh, oh, but you know. But you'll know this what you do. This is what we call preventative. <laughs> there's preventative medicine and there's preventative health care. 
Right there. That's what we call preventative health care. Health care. HC. HC. <laughs> health care. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're always being preventative, even when it comes down to uh, being preventative about hurting ourselves. So, um, we've been spraying. I see you got the, the CO2 bottle in the corner there, which yeah, is nice. Yeah. We'll get that going. Yeah, I'm restricting a bit of it. There you go. That's awesome. Here I've got uh, PM water, and I've got neem oil, and... Um, You're just keeping care? Stuff. There you go. And I have something else here, too. pH something or whatever. Yeah. pH up that I gave him. Yeah. Yeah. And you should, of course, using Medi-1. No, pH water. That's great to plant. Oh, pH it. water? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I'm very happy with this. This is awesome. Well, guys, so, you know what? We had to come over and see Mike. We had to come over and take a look at what was going on. And, of course... Uh, He's got his measuring spoons and he's got his he's got his little stuff all set up. You know what I mean? He's got his old pots. He's gonna reuse and cycle the dirt. I know exactly. You're gonna sift all out and reuse it. Here's the one these box. Oh no, that's okay. They're yours yeah. now. Yeah, no, that's yours. I'm gonna go and show these guys uh, a little bit of closer up with this butt over here. See what they have to say. See what they have to say. They're gonna massive root ball on this. Ow. I just kicked that. That hurt. Yes, that does hurt. I have to do something to push. Wow. Which one was that? This, ah. Uh, well, this was the last one I had. It was the last bucket of litter that one there. It was the number one. Yes. I kept that one as my main mom right from the beginning. I always felt that one was the best one. And look at that yeah. roots. That's yeah. beautiful looking roots for the number one. I kept that. I thought you I, kept that. That's I, the, that was your biggest yeah. root. That's you, yeah. you know what, and that's what you do keep. You keep that. You dry it out. I'm gonna wash it out. I'm gonna wash it out. What there you go. That's water. awesome. Now I got a couple from last year too. We're gonna have to get you some posters for the wall. I bring them home from Amsterdam. <laughs> that's my next trip, right? Oh, why not? Yeah, we're getting cool. you some. We're gonna get you some high time ones. We'll get you some acid down little memorabilia in here and stuff like that. But oh, yeah, I want to show you something. I, I took a video by phone. Yeah, but uh, the smallest plant you have here, yeah, it did not cake into the pot because when I removed it from the large pot when, when it was done, the uh, it was root out. When we transplanted, it didn't expand past this parameter. I like how you got the zap straps on here so they don't fall over. Yeah, well... I'm Here's this number one that I was uh, taking a look at. A bit of dust on there. Are you cutting in here today? Yeah, I trimmed, I trimmed it, yeah. No, I mean cutting with the saw? Uh, well, before I did this. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of uh, oh, yeah. sawdust Bef yeah, there. Be before I did um, the plants, I did my uh, outside. Yeah. Mike's little setup. There you guys go. So, um, you know what? Mike was talking about expanding. I can see why he needs to expand, guys. Yeah. As you can see, we're going to do a complete 360 here. Watch this. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll have to gut the shelf we'll have to do. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> that, let's sprout tight. Hey Mike! That's so, good. we're talking about expanding, so. <laughs> expanding. Um, oh, yeah. I, I'm kicking things. I've, and, got, uh, I've got the bug, I've got the bug. There you guys go. Here Mike, let's uh, kind of give you this little okay, pass here. And uh, you know what, um, as always guys, um, we're always happy to bring you what we do. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Good friends, good food, good neighbors. There always. You know. Peace guys. <laughs> Peace. We're heading out. We're going over to our next project. Who knows? Oh, yeah. We're on. Okay. Um, Fino. Well, this is the Fino 2. I'm going to put it right up here in the far corner. It'll be my second one at the end here. And, um, well, I just had to get Fino 2. It's so important. Another Fino 2 right here. And then we did the Fino 4. Genetics that you can never lose, guys. So important. So important. Just a big one there. I pulled that right off the top root right there like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her a nice little cut. 45. I'm gonna scrape it. We always put the bigger ones right here in the middle. Oh, am I spraying your mic? Again. Again. <laughs> it's the camera word about. Now we got nothing but Fino 4. Fino 4 is the Fino, like the Fino 4 of the My Little Pony. This is the Fino 4 of the Cushes that I like so much. I keep getting Mike wet. So, as I pulled it out, they all went upside down in the water, which is kind of cool. 
Four of four. I cut, well, they're all falling out, so that's okay. It's just the taproot there, so I'm not, I'm just happy with that. I'm very, very happy. Now, this was the big funeral for. 45, boom, little scrape, dead center. So we got phenol two and we got phenol four. Second one from the end here, guys. And then two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve medi crushes, I think is what's happening next. I got a couple more of the phenol fours here, it's just I might give those to you, Mike, and put them in peeps. We'll see what happens. Sure, thank you. There we go. That's what we got here, guys. We got phenol. Uh, what we got here is we got the Jamaican. We got the Congo, we got the Barbara, then we got the Afghan, and then these two here, well, that's a Congo, that's a Barbara. Just some extras. Then we got Phenol 1, no, sorry, that's Phenol, Phenol 2, which is the Larry Lemon Cross with the Larry OG, and then we got our Phenol 4, which is a Larry Lemon Cross into an Old World Packing. That's pretty much what we're saying is, like a, a, an OG Kush crossed into, a, into an Old World Packing Kush. Is really the understanding behind the strain so yeah that's some pretty cool genetics that makes a full melt killer of course as you guys have, if you haven't if you got the prairie cup and you taste in my bone it was the phenol four guys so there you go let's go get some many cushions two four six eight ten uh, that's my next step guys okay guys what I want to show you here right now is um, well, I'm kind of cleaning up these many cushions because we are actually basically in flower right now. And I'm just showing how healthy they look. And I'm gonna show you the ones in the back here. You saw how good they look, but I've really pruned these up now. They've got a major, major haircut. So you can see how they're all nice and air can get through there, light can get through there. They're looking very, very nice. You can see the ones in the back there. They're just beautiful, very, very healthy. And then I got these ones here, you can see I just started working on one and just see how bushy these are and how dense and thick and how leaf and... I mean, I, I'm, I'm really, really happy, guys. I've been mean, really preventative with this. I've been mean, spraying, uh, we've been burning uh, sulfur. We've really taken a good, good, good look at this room and after doing all my trimming up so far, I'm not seeing any signs of any bugs. I'm not seeing any signs of any disease or anything. But really, what I want to show you here is I just kind of want to work on these with you really quickly, guys. I wanted to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you got a plant that's really, this is the plant right here, all nicely cleaned up. I got my bucket here, and then move this one right out of the way, just like that, so you guys can get a better look. But they're basically getting all of these great big leaves like this in here. But they're purple. You can see they got purple on the leaves on the stalk, all of them have purple. And really, if you take a good look at your plants, you can kind of take a look exactly what you're gonna to need to pull off just by looking so sun can get down and penetration into the bottom leaves, which is really, really important because you wanna get those bugs down in the bottom. Now, I'm finding all nice little clones like this in the bottom, so of course, I have my little bucket here of many push clones. Very happy with those. Might have a little bit of a nice little project coming up with those uh, new cuttings that I'm going to be showing you guys. You might get really excited and see what happens here in, uh, in the mid of December. I got some projects going on. I want to share them with you guys. So. Pretty much, we're just cleaning this whole thing out so I can get bottom sun, so sun gets into the bottom. I'm definitely going to be, this will be my last trim like this, because, uh, well, I'm going to start seeing pistol and hairs pretty soon. I'm going to do one more spray, just to make sure. 
you can definitely see the difference between these plants and these plants here now, guys. As you can see, I've cleaned these right, right up. I just want to make sure I can see that we got what we're going on here. So my head cut off a little bit, so. There you guys go. So we have our Medi-Push Forms. We have our plant like that, nicely cleaned up. As you can see, here's another one just like this. So pushing these out of the way. I'm looking at the top of the plant like this, guys. I'm just kind of trying to work here with you. So if I set my plant up like this, I'm grabbing these leaves just like that. Just inside there. Gray big leaves. Nice and purple. So the really this thing, and they've got the smaller ones down the bottom that are purple too, but you can see where they are in the plant where they're actually really not needed and they're taking up precious space, precious space for light and air to get in there to help develop the rest of these bugs, to help develop your medicine. Not my medicine. Could just be your, uh, the plant that you tend and like to grow. So, I kind of want to give you guys show what I'm doing in here, showing you how we're cleaning this all up. Showing you how well the Medi Kush is doing, actually. I'm really, really always happy with it. It's one reason why I've kept the strain for so long. It is truly my medicine. It grows very well. It is prone to bugs and PM. And, well, I had PM from last time. Let me say that. Let me rephrase that, guys. When the room is running right, this plant produces very well. That's the best way to say it. And when it's all dialed in, like anybody's room, you get great growth. This plant here right now, this one's really nice and bushy. I'm really enjoying this and the smell. One thing we've learned when I'm plucking off all these leaves, all these leaves have other cannabinoids that people are really enjoying. I think it's CBG. I might have to look that up. I might be wrong. I'm just talking right now. I'm just trying to remember. But I mean, there's a lot of people taking different um, therapies, and a lot of people are just using the leaf. And there's a nice little clone. So, now we got light going through this whole plant. We got lots of air going through here. We don't have to worry about uh, light getting through here or air getting in here. And as you can see, it's all nicely cleaned up. Get into the last little ones here. So you look looking at it from the side, and you get right in here, pluck, 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 and you can hear it just snapping. Really healthy, really, really healthy. Very easy, very nice. Beautiful looking leaf. There you guys go. That's the Meggy Kush. That's a leaf. Mike was commenting on how big some of these leaves were in here. He's like, look at the size of those. It's a good sign of a good indica. Oh, I like it. This is what I always say is my medicine. Probably said it about eight times tonight. Because I like to say it. But definitely some really nice big monster families in here. Good growth. We've got these double tops, one, two, three. I think we showed that and we pinched all these guys together. So we we're peeling and pinching the top so I could give the form this top. A lot of people ask the last time I didn't pinch my top. I didn't know I just had these single colas. It's like, well, because I was showing you guys something different. So he asked, and now I'm showing you some other methods. Of course, I've been, um, I've got some good experience. I think I've been growing uh, cannabis ganja. 20 years, 25 years. So, that was right there. I always try to keep everything in line. So everything's always in the same spot in the room all the time. For me, it's my little ADHD, but it's able for me to see exactly how the room is always performing. And I know which plants always need water, which ones drink better than the others. Um, so you get used to your room, right? You have to move things around. Just some good growing tips. Well, at least some, well, they're good growing tips, but they're growing tips. Ones that I like, ones that work for me. 
and hopefully they work for you. Okay? You never know what can happen, right? So it's really about um, caring for your plant. It's a lot of work that goes into uh, growing your medicine and taking a good look at her. And some people get a little scared, they see leaf curling, or they might see some damage, but unless you see this tip curling up and it going brown, or if it's curling down and going like a little yellow, if it's curling up, it's being overnewed it. When it's curling down, the tip's going yellow, it means she's hungry. And on the tip of this right now, it's got a little bit of yellow. It is on here too. They're showing me that they're hungry right now. But I already knew that. I'm getting ready to feed today. So, definitely a, a difference in a lot of the different plants. You can see how some of them are just so bushy and some of them are just, uh, you see how we get some really nice top colas on a few of these here. Really looking forward to that. Once again, I'm just pulling off all these purple leaves all the way down. As you can see, I always like to clean up my centers and maybe make sure it's all nice and airy in there and stuff like that. So lots of air gets in there. And last but not least, guys, there you go. So you can definitely see a difference in what's going on here. You can see how they're cleaned out. You can see how they're getting thicked out. You can see that I'm getting into these big, big families that are purple right in there they go all the way down they're just like kind of just in there but what they're doing is they're covering up all the light and they're they're stopping the air where they're allowing bugs to get in there powdery mildew when there's lots of air going through there lots of light we get no bugs we get no pm the little things that um i got lazy with last time so we're going to make sure that we show you guys the proper way and not just um well, as you guys see, I just freeze it and dry sift it, so it's like, this is my medicine, so. But this one here, I always like to put a lot of love into my, uh, into my ganja. These are my ladies. I look after them very, very well, just like my kitty cats. The kitty cat's got a great life. So, just a quick little show you guys what's going on in here. I got all my combs ready before our next little round. We got all the different strains that we've done together. So yeah, right here. Put those in the turbo cloner. It's all filled up. We did the phenol four. We did a phenol one. No phenol two. We've done uh, everything else: the Congo, Jamaican, the Afghan. I don't need to do many haze this time. I already have a mom first put away. I also have the My Little Ponies. I have some moms of them. And I got a few that are going right now that will actually work very well. Get them nice and big. So pull this last little clone off right out of the middle here. Oops. I'm looking for my little scissors. Look at here in the fall right here. That's even better. That's not falling. That's me putting them away. No one moment. I just like that one there. I had to pull her off, guys. It was uh When you like something, you like it. And I was like, that's that one there I want. So this is what I do when I get ready. And when everything starts to flip, I do a lot of trimming up, get her all nice and cleaned up, and get her all ready for the room. And there you guys go. A little bit of uh, this and one. We'll figure it all out. Anyways, guys, there you go. I want to show you me cleaning it up. I want to show you the difference of this room. Now we're seeing what's going on with the LED and everything. They're not as dense, not as bushy as what these ones were. Uh, a lot healthier. These ones are more stressed. Um, but, you know, more the more that I'm seeing, I'm just getting used to seeing this over and over for years and I get to see the yields that I get and I know what I see with the LED. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm spectacle. I want to see what happens, but I'm, I'm quite excited to see how this is going to turn out. But um, all in all, there you guys go.
Kung baga pa... <laughs> okay guys, we've got the Magnet Kush here. We've got everything else going. We've got the turbo cone all nicely filled up. We've got the lid on. Everything rocking. We've got these beautiful ones that I was looking at for the center that I was like, okay, those are the ones that I want. Of course, we're going to start those off right here. Now what we've done in the back here guys, and we have we added a number four and three number fours in the back and the one in the center here is going to be Oh that was the Congolese. The next are Congolese. Medi Kush is going in, we got two, four, six, eight of them. So all in all? We got some great cuts. We got some great little information going on over there. You know, showing you a few different things, what we're doing. Showing you the LED, doing a little bit of updates. Kind of uh, with cannabis growing one on one. How? Well, with the industry today and what's going on with the whole medical system, with the legalizations happening all over the world, this is all good information for you guys to learn stuff that I've been doing for the last 20 some odd years. So I guess I've got a little bit of experience. And it hopes we all learn something. I'm very, very happy with this uh, whole little tray of uh, clones going into the turbo cone this time around. I'm sure you guys have seen it all in the past. But this one here is quite special. I'm liking it. Yeah. Some really nice big clones of the Medi. Got a few extras here. Now we're gonna make some decisions. We've got one more to go in. That's the one right there. My number four, and we have a midi. There you guys go. 48 all filled up, ready to go. You can say 10 to 12 days, we get some really nice clones. It's kind of a shame what I'm doing with this one right here. Kind of a little sketchy on these ones here. I'd rather have some many cushions in there. See, I get puzzled. Ah! Anyways, guys, you know what? That's what's going on. We got the turbo cone filled up, and uh, we'll see what happens next. Good morning, guys. It's um, it's been eight days, eight days since I left and we got back from Amsterdam. Woo! -hoo! So um, I was gone. I spent eight days in Amsterdam. It was. Epic, of course, we ran into everybody, it was awesome. The 27th Annual Cannabis Cup. The event was canceled, the, kept, the cup kept going. So you can definitely look up the winners of that. Um, a lot of good friends, it was awesome. Um, so it was really, really cool. But really what we're here to guys do is to take a look at how the hell that LED light is doing. It's been eight days. We're gonna go check out the LED light first right away. Then we're gonna go into this flower room and see how it's doing. I haven't even stepped in there. I haven't even looked. I walked in here and I'm like, let's do this together. So, I'm excited. There, here we go. So, um, we moved the pressure washer inside because it's cold outside. <laughs> uh, these are our moms that we're working with. And, um, oh, turbo cloner. I haven't opened up a turbo cloner yet, so it's been eight days and, uh, well, I'll definitely take a look at those in a bit, but not right now. And I, and I got those and I forgot to root them. <laughs> so eight days ago, those were cut into water. That's kind of funny. We're definitely gonna be doing some cleaning up in here and doing some rearranging. A little bit of a mess. Ah, oh, sweet. Here you guys go. LED, wow, it's filled out. The HC is starting to bud, which is nice. It will be the Haley's Comet. But I can see that this has got to go up. 
That's the way I look at things, so uh, press the button. Let's bring this up a little bit higher, guys. More of a footprint there. I think we need it on this side here. But um, look at the Aunt My Little Pony. It's killing it. We got the Barber Bud right there. Of course, the Congolese. You can actually just tell just by looking at the plants what they are. And that's going to be the Medi Haze right there, guys. And beside it, of course, is the Medi Kush. You can see how well that's doing. And we got the Haley's Comet. And we got another HC number two. So that's the LED light in here right now, guys. Um, I think it's doing very well. I'm very, very. It's 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 packed in here. See that? She's filled right up. Maybe six plants might be too much for the light. Might have to go down to four. So, um, well, you know what the best part about this is, guys? Let's check this out. I can actually look right into here. But I might have to change. There's our test girl on the other side, right there. Yeah. What I think is kind of cool, I'm going to switch right over to manual as we're doing this. That's the other side. Let's go take a look. Let's go do this together, guys. So, we know what's going on the other side. We know we got everything just happening. <clears throat> in we go into the mother room. Well, we can definitely see that she's doing a lot better than what she was when I left. So we first walk in, it looks like we're getting some nice little flowers here on the new uh, Haley's Comma Cross. Here we go right here for our time and temperature and our humidity. We'll take a look at our CO2 and it looks like our CO2 bottle is empty. I don't hear it kicking on. But we're definitely um, coming right into the corner here. So, first off the bat, the MLP. Number two, the Congolese. Starting to show a little bit of flower there. Number three, the Medi Haze. Number four, the Medi Kush. Number five is the Barber Bud. And number six is the AC, which is already flowering out really nicely. So um, there's a little bit of a test, guys. Then I'm going to move right over here to the Medi Cushions. See how this is all filled out. And I top the tops this time because so we can get some nice top colas on there. She's doing very well. I'm very happy. I know uh, she got a heavy water, and that's what I had uh, someone come in here and do a heavy water for me. So there you, there you go. And you can see how all these Haley Comets are growing. Very sparse, wide open. Um, like I always say, it's the most efficacious plant that I've ever grown, as in medicinally. But it is one of the hardest to ever grow. And it doesn't grow very nice. But, <clears throat> it's saving people's lives. So that's the best part about it. Then we go into Congo over there. We got the Jamaican and it's yellowing out, not having a little, it doesn't look happy, but. And then right there in the corner again is the Afghan. We got the Barber Bud there. These are all the Medi Hazes right here that are all kind of like, um, well, they don't look the greatest right now. Well, there you guys go. 
And um, the LED test grow. LED versus HPS. I can tell you right now by looking at the LED, it looks so much more healthier. They look a lot more happier. This room, well, it's controlled completely. We've got the same temperature, the same humidity. Um, it's completely controlled. The difference, these are all brand new bulbs too. So we went all new, hoard, we, not Hoard Lux, sorry. We went all new bulbs and those bulbs came from Solastep. And you can see there's uh, one sitting right down there. So uh, that's one of the conversion bulbs that I use right in the middle. I always have a little bit of loose spectrum and then I have the HPS ones that are all in the other ones. So, doing pretty good. Work away with this and uh, we'll see which way things go and how things work out. Yeah. Eight days guys, I think the rooms are uh, rocking it for the eight days I was gone. So we can see that corner one there, and, and, and just, you can see how those many cushions are nice and green on this side. You can see how the the barber in there is really good. Um, and you can just see that those tropical sativas, the ones that uh, are needing maybe a different light spectrum, are actually more stressed. You can see how they're working with this room. Very interesting. We gotta start taking a better look at light spectrum when we're growing with different strains. Something that, well, I've never um, really taken a look at before, to be honest. So yeah, something new, something new to try. Just always having fun. Anyways, guys, um, you know what? Just just so you don't forget, let's go look at how healthy these LED the LED light is doing. Because really, oh that one first place again, guys. Super lemon haze with greenhouse. <coughs> so. I think really, you guys can be the judge of how good this LED light is doing right now. We're talking about it, we're looking at it, and we're seeing her flower out, guys. So, just another update from the LED world. Definitely getting really good penetration down here. Well, we're definitely gonna get in here and take out some of these leaves. Our first trim of our LED. Remember we did this with the with the HPS and it was like right away, but the LED, no? Huh? Just getting a couple little here. There's our trim, guys. And you can see how that Haley's is working very sparse and hanging out. And there you go. I think now I need to start taking a look at these roots in this turbo cloner. The temperature has been really cold here. It's dropped down to like minus three, minus four. So of course, everything else got cold. Except for my rooms, I don't see any purpling. They look very, very healthy, which is nice. But um, the turbo cloner doesn't look like it um, is too happy, to be honest. I'm gonna take a look. We're at day nine with the turbo cloner. Unplug it. And lift her up. Well, we got some roots right away. And these first two in the beginning here. Well, we got the Jamaican. And we got the Congo that's rooted. This is when we did our first cuts there. This is what we're really concentrating on. So, at least we got a few going in there. Um, and uh, it only takes about 10 to 12 days as far as getting some good roots. I want to take a better look inside. Clean her all up. And... Um, We'll see you uh, for the next update on our great grow.